Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in all data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding Lyft driver ways, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in Lyft interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads: Find all Lyft drivers who earn either equal to or less than thirty thousand US dollars, or equal to or more than seventy thousand US dollars. Output all the details related to the retrieved records. So basically, we are given a data frame called Lyft drivers, and our expected output is also a pandas data frame with, you know, all the four columns. So if we look at the Lyft drivers data frame, it has four columns, right? So if we preview this, so you have all the information like index, start date, end date, and yearly salary. So basically, what we need to do is. For all these people, we need to make sure that either the yearly salary of the person is less than equal to thirty thousand, or it is more than equal to seventy thousand, right? So basically, if you think about it, it is very simple, right? All you need to do is Boolean indexing. So what we can do is from this data frame called Lyft drivers, we can pass a list of true false values. That is, you know, Lyft drivers of the column, right? Lyft drivers from the column yearly. salary right so yearly salary should be less than equal to 30000 or it should be more than equal to 70000 right so we can wrap this in parentheses right and then we can also use uh, the pipe function basically this is or right and then we can copy paste this entire thing right so copy paste so that you know we can enter the second condition so copy it paste it here and it's either yearly salary should be less than equal to 30000 or it should be more than equal to 70000 right so once we have this so basically what will this do it will look at okay so all the rows where uh, yearly salary is less than equal to 30000 or if this is false then it will go and look at this second condition and return a true false values right a list of true false values and when that list of true false values is passed as a filter so it will lead to boolean indexing and will return only those rows which satisfies either of these conditions right okay so let me go ahead and run this to see what happens So if you look at it right so now you have all the people whose yearly salary is either more than 70000 or is less than 30000 right so let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it right so now let's see how the solution looks like in mysql right Okay, so if you look at it again, same question, right? Same table, expected output is same as well, right? If we preview the table, uh, it is going to have all the information th like before, right? So here also, what we need to do is from this table called Lyft drivers, we either need to keep those rows where yearly salary, right? Yearly salary is less than equal to thirty thousand, or yearly salary. right yearly salary is greater than equal to 70000 so yeah i think this looks good let me run this let's see what we are getting so if you look at it now you again you have the same information as we did for python right so all the yearly salaries are either more than 70000 or less than 30000 right uh, so i think this looks good let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases So yeah, everything is green again, and this is how we do it again. So very simple question. All we had to do was, you know, make sure in case of Python we apply boolean indexing with an OR clause that either your yearly salary is less than thirty thousand or your yearly salary is greater than equal to seventy thousand. Similarly for MySQL, we did the same. So yeah, I think this is the easiest question of all this series. Uh, let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys. in the next video